Hello, welcome back to another episode of Smell Good, Feel Good Fragrance. I'm David, thank you for joining me today. Um, if this is your first time videoing, uh, coming to this video channel, um, please hit subscribe, hit the bell, you can get updated uh, of all the latest videos that I pop out talking about fragrances um, and you know we can build on the great community that we have. So, as the title suggests, I want to talk about uh, today uh, five fragrances um, that uh, are linked to or related to Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. Quick disclaimer, I used up my Tuscan leather at the end of 2019. I haven't had a chance or I haven't really needed to buy another bottle because of these fragrances. Um, and at you know, current climate, uh, ordering a decanter, ordering a new bottle is not my number one priority. So I will talk about these five fragrances in relation to Tuscan leather, but I do not currently have Tuscan leather in my house. You'll notice I'm in a different location as well. Uh, my partner is uh, home obviously as well from her job in the West End. So she's uh, next door making lots of soft furnishings and other stuff because she's finally got some free time to be creative. Um, so I'm in uh, another room of our flat. So as the title suggests, um, these five fragrances are either linked to or are um, interpretations of or copies of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Now, Tuscan Leather launched in 2007, uh, super, super big, important fragrance for Tom Ford, really, really popular, has a big following, um, leather, suede, raspberry and thyme with a little bit of saffron and amber in the dry down. Um, it is a big, bold fragrance. It is not a fragrance for the faint hearted. Um, it's also a very expensive fragrance. Um, uh, 100 ml, I think 225 pounds, give or take. That may have gone up since I last checked. Um, yes, you can find it on discounters, but as uh, lots of people do, uh, myself included, I looked for some alternatives because I haven't always had, I was lucky to be gifted my Tom Ford um, for a present, but you know, I haven't always had the funds to buy. Um, I'm lucky that I have a job now that lets me buy, you know, more genuine products, but I wanted to talk about these five fragrances. So let's start with the Tom Ford. Uh, this is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Now Tom Ford Ombre Leather was actually launched in 2016 as a private blend. It disappeared after about eight, nine months on sale and then reappeared, uh, reappeared in the signature line. So um, this is 100 mil, it's about 120 pounds, 115 pounds. You can get it for a little bit less on discounters. So obviously, if you look up the notes, leather, raspberry, they are similar notes to Tuscan leather. To my nose, if you're comparing the two because they're both Tom Fords, ombre leather actually has more leather and less of that raspberry saffron, that what some people have talked about, that kind of cocaine opening. I get a much more uh, raw leather smell. Um, I do get raspberry, I do get some sweetness, um, but actually I find this is a more of a true leather fragrance than Tuscan leather um, because it's not got as much fruit in it. Um, however, although it's more leathery, it's still very wearable. Um, it's a fragrance that um, I've had a few compliments from. It's not one that you know seems to be particularly offensive. Um, the bottle design is lovely, so it feels like a premium Tom Ford product. Um, this matte black bottle, it's got a nice atomizer, it's got this leather effect, ombre leather label. Um, strong leather, a little bit of raspberry in the dry down. Um, it gets a little bit sweeter to my nose. Um, for me on my skin, I would probably say about six hours. Um, and that's, you know, probably, you know, half of that time, very much a skin scent, probably a little bit longer. Um, but certainly a very good alternative if you want a genuine Tom Ford, but you don't want to spend that extra for Tuscan leather. And if you want something that's maybe a little bit more pure leather than raspberry. So that's one. And I'll rank these at the end once I've had a little think through as well, um, on which I would prefer if I was looking at as an alternative to Tuscan leather. So Tom Ford ombre leather, it's a pretty good start. Next. We'll jump into the most brazen copy and this is from actually from perfume parlor um, and i brought a range of fragrances uh, having watched fragmental um i went and bought a range of perfume parlor fragrances some things i knew some fragrances that i didn't know so things like black afghano etc i bought little bottles of um but i went and bought the 50 ml of tuscan leather it's 12 pounds so it's very inexpensive um it is probably the closest clone um, that I'm aware of in as much as 
it is a direct clone. It's, you know, it's now called Italian Rawhide, I think, on Perfume Pub's website. This one is literally Tuscan leather with a K. So it's quite brazen in its copying. This um, has probably more time in the opening than genuine Tuscan leather. So it doesn't have that leather hit straight away. Um, it's got a little bit more time and raspberry and then becomes more of a Tuscan leather fragrance after the first minute or two. Um, for £12, it's pretty good. And on my skin, again, seven or eight hours. Um, this is the kind of fragrance that you'll smell on your jumper the next day. It's the scent that if you spray it in the morning, if you've just been out at work, you've not showered or been to the gym or done anything in between, you just sprayed it in the morning, gone to work, come home, you'll still catch it in the evening and people will still smell it on you. So actually... Assuming that the current formulation is the same as this, and I've had this bottle um, about six months, I haven't used it a lot because I was using up my actual Tuscan leather, um, it's a really, really good option in terms of cost because for £12, 50ml, pretty close, slightly more time and raspberry, like I say, um, but good amount of longevity, uh, Perfume Parlour's Tuscan leather. Uh, moving on, uh, let us pick up this bottle. Now this... Um, is a new bottle for a fragrance that's been around for quite a long time. Uh, this is Arab Tradition by Nabil. Um, about two or three years ago, they used to do it in a white bottle, um, see-through bottle, white bottle with like a white leather band around it. It used to have a little bag that came with it, and then it disappeared. Um, they brought it back out again. This you can find um, on a couple of retailers. I bought mine on eBay because there are a couple of fragrance stores that uh, on eBay that's, you know, sell stuff from some of the smaller UEA, Dubai um, and Eastern fragrance houses, and Nabil being one of them. Um, this is unbelievably disappointing. Uh, it used to be uh, apparently a beast mode fragrance. Um, people used to say, you know, it used to be, I think, £14 for 100 mil. And then once the original bottles had disappeared, people started selling them for kind of 60, 70, 80, 100 pounds online. Um, and it used to be, you know, long lasting, 12 hours plus beast mode. This smells unbelievably great it smells phenomenally close to the opening and the mid and the dry down of tuscan leather it's got the right amount of raspberry the right amount of leather the right balances however it only lasts on my skin two or three hours and then it's gone and it's not anosmia my partner can't smell it people i've asked you know colleagues etc that i wore um this at work just before you know we all got kind of sent home because of the uh the current coronavirus situation um they couldn't smell it either so it isn't just a nosmia this doesn't seem to last on my skin now that might be different for others i know there are other reviews that talk about this as a beast mode fragrance um unless it needs to sit and you know have a week or two you know oxidizing some people say that helps fragrances uh, but certainly this appears to be brilliant in terms of its interpretation of tuscan leather pretty dreadful in terms of its longevity. The bottle's nice, it feels quite premium, but it doesn't last, unfortunately. So Nabil, Arab tradition, really close interpretation, but not a particularly um, long-lasting version when you're thinking that Tuscan leather itself is a, a fairly long-lasting fragrance. Um, two more, uh, and these two are where it gets a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say exciting, but where these are, you know, genuine perfume houses that are quite established, even in the UK. Um, the first, I did a short video when I first started, um, but I've been wearing this even more and uh, it's a really nice option. This is Al Haramain Leather Oud. It is one of the more popular Tom Ford Tuscan leather copies. Um, you can see that I've worn this a lot, a lot more. For me to have, you know, a third of a bottle gone, I go through and rotate fragrances quite a lot. So to have got through that much in a year or so is quite good usage for me. Um, this has a slight um, tough time compared to some of the others because... It has slightly more of a pencil lead kind of fragrance at the start. Um, it's got a lovely atomizer. But the the saffron and the thyme notes in this have a slight feeling of like pencil shavings to begin with. It certainly dries down after maybe 20 minutes into a more appealing um, version of a Tom Ford Tuscan leather fragrance. But one thing to watch for is it does have that slight makeup bag pencil lead kind of smell that some people talk about um it's not super strong in that sense it doesn't hit you with just that pencil shaving fragrance but it's there so be aware that that will make you feel it's maybe not 100 percent the tuscan leather copy but it has decent longevity six seven hours um nice bottle uh, about 40 pounds uh, and as i say al haramain 
um, are obviously a pretty established. They have a warehouse in the UK, they have a website in the UK, they sell through uh, Notino, all these some of the kind of the bigger online suppliers now. So they are starting to um, become a more kind of uh, recognized fragrance company. So this is a little bit of a step up from Perfume Parlor, and even from Nabil really. Um, yeah, good longevity, good projection, certainly um, a pretty good copy, nice bottle, nice wooden lid, feels a little bit more premium. Um, and then the final fragrance, and no real uh, comparison of copies of Tuscan Leather would be complete without the one that I think, you know, without even having to think too hard, it's probably the number one option if you're not buying Tuscan Leather. It is, of course, the Yukon by Rosassi. Um, I have two bottles of this. This is bottle one. I have a second bottle because it has gone up in price or had gone up in price. Uh, it used to retail for about £45. I bought it when it was about £70 a bottle. It's gone up as high as 90 to 100 It's gone back down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> it is by far and away the best representation of Tuscan leather. Um, it has the right blend of leather and raspberry. It's not too sweet at the beginning. It's not too leather at the beginning. It feels pretty spot on around um, the opening you expect. It uh, has a nice amount of time. It um, dries down in the right kind of way to give you still a leather based scent. It doesn't kind of disappear into just amber and you know saffron and thyme and raspberry. Um, you keep that kind of depth that it has. And I think that's the thing about the Yuko arm that I think if you watch a lot of videos people will talk about, it has that depth, it has the quality of ingredients and the blending that gives you that richness that you would expect. Um, leather Oud is great, but it's not quite as dense and rich as genuine Tuscan leather. Um, ombre leather is absolutely really rich, but it's much more leathery. It doesn't have the sweetness for me that Tuscan leather does. Um, this is pretty much um, the best combination of that richness the right kind of dry down, the right opening, the right depth of scent. And at the moment you can pick this up for around 70 pounds for 75 mil. Um, so again, if you compare that to, you know, I think 130, 140 pounds for 50 mil of Tuscan leather, it's still actually a really good price considering the quality of the juice in the bottle, I think is on par with some of the Tom Ford uh, ingredients and the quality of those ingredients. Um, if I was ranking them, yeah, I think Liu Kuam absolutely number one as a, an option. Um, I would say actually because of the longevity versus the price, Perfume Parlors, Tuscan Leather slash now it's called Italian Rawhide is probably my number two. Um, it is a little bit thinner in its you know depth of scent, but for twelve pounds for fifty mil, I mean, spray it crazy, go crazy, wear it as much as you want really. Um, uh, then I would say Ombre Leather, but again. Ombre leather, because of the quality, ombre leather is third, I'd say, um, but it's not exactly a copy. It's not trying to be a cheaper version of Tuscan leather, if we're fair. It's a different scent. It's still a leather fragrance, but it's not claiming it. It never was meant to be a cheaper version of Tuscan leather. Um, Alharamain, um, probably joint third, really. That slight pencil shaving fragrance probably stops it being higher, but the price, £40 longevity, it's a nice presentation. Um, and then absolutely, you know, it may work for you. So, you know, again, you know, it's my personal experience, um, but certainly at the bottom, Nabil Arab tradition, it may once have been a great, great, strong, powerful, long lasting fragrance. Um, the bottle's nice, the fragrance for the first half hour is brilliant. And then if you can still smell it, you're doing well. Um, so yeah, just some insight into uh, five Tuscan leather related fragrances. Um, I've got some stuff that's been tucked away that is, uh, come out of storage, I did a little change. So I've got uh, Cloni Oud from um, Aqua de Palma that's turning up on a, a video soon. Um, I've got uh, the full range of Encre Noir from the leak that I will give you my opinion on. Um, so I will hopefully now that I've got some time because I'm not at work until this all blows over in one month, two months, three months, who knows. Um, I will hopefully be doing some more videos more regularly. Um, you know, fragrances that have been reviewed by lots of people, I'll just give you my opinion regardless. Hopefully there'll be some niche things or some things that maybe haven't been reviewed as much that you'll find exciting. And who knows, um, if this looks like it's going to carry on for, you know, several months, maybe I'll just start buying stuff again and um, enjoying it around the house. Um, I hope, look, I hope all you and your families are safe. I hope that you have not been severely affected by, you know, what's going on. Um, you know, touch wood, you know, my family are OK for now. Um, and hopefully this gives you, you know, 20 minutes of um, something to take your mind off of. Um, 
yeah, uncertain times, I would say, have a daily routine. I started doing my videos again because actually getting up and, and spraying a fragrance, having had a shower, kind of made it feel a bit normal even though I'm working from home and I would strongly encourage you to do the same thing. Um, and look after yourself, look after your friends and family, look after your neighbours. Um, and hopefully, yeah, pop back for my next video and a video after that and a video after that. Like I say, please hit subscribe, it means a lot to me. Um, the more subscribers, the easier I can make content. Um, the more content, I build more subscribers. So absolutely, it helps me out. But hopefully that means that I can review better, um, more interesting things for you as well. Have a great day. Um, be safe and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.